Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video we are briefly going to talk about FRIDA. You can call me PEM. Um, FRIDA is a dynamic instrumentation toolkit mainly used for dynamic analysis in mobile applications. Uh, it also uh, used by reverse engineers in reverse engineering. It's also used by security researchers uh, to dynamically uh, or to hook functions in, um, in, in applications. Uh, to help them uh, understand better or manipulate uh, the function or actually test uh, the security posture of that application and the functions that that application uses. Uh, for developers, uh, the developers use it to develop uh, scripts and tools that can be uh, better off be utilized by security researchers and reverse engineers. So basically in this video, we are going to utilize this uh, tool um, to let us inject our own scripts into uh, black box processes. The process that we can't see, we can't really know on the underground what is really uh, going on, on the background. So basically it's going to help us hook any function, spy on uh, crypto APIs or basically APIs or trace private application code across plot platforms. So this cuts across uh, all uh, platforms, including Android, iOS, watchOS, Linux, Windows, and Mac. We are going to utilize this tool uh, in the upcoming videos for bypassing SSL pinning, bypassing anti-root controls. Um, all of them depend on uh, the hooking of functions and skills. So Fred is going to help us in hooking functions. So that's how we are going to bypass, <coughs> sorry, to bypass the root controls, to dynamically um, analyze the applications. So one might ask, why, why do we need to analyze an application while it is running? Well, there are so many things um, that an application can be uh, doing uh, on the background. There are so many depend, uh, dependent uh, variables, dependent APIs, and even dependent code that an application can be using on the background. And we might not be able to uh, identify this by static analysis. Remember, static analysis is just, in most cases, uh, focused on, unroad, uh, on, on, on analyzing the code of the applications by reverse engineering the application. So sometimes there, this reverse engineering doesn't give us a clear code or the code that fully um, uh, the application depends on. So that's why dynamic analysis is very important. It's going to show us some of the uh, private application code uh, that is running on the background for the uh, application to effectively run. In this video, we're going to create a good foundation uh, and uh, set up our environment so that we can uh, see how we can utilize this tool in all these capabilities. The next step that we're going to do, just head over to open your favorite browser. Uh, I use uh, Chromium. So type uh, Frida Framework. And then head over to the official, uh, the official um, documentation of the FRIDA, um, which is um, FRIDA.RA uh, docs. I think we had we had talked about this tool before in uh, in uh, in setting up an environment, and we had talked about uh, how to install FRIDA. If you didn't uh, watch that video, just go back and watch it. But still, it's not an um, a hard task. You can just head over to installation section and then uh, it's very simple people install Frida tools and you're going to 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 have the tool installed easy in your Kali Linux machine or Linux uh, related machines in this case this is what I'm using but uh, we are much more interested right now in making sure after we've installed this tool in our local machine how are we going to how is it how does it work how does it connect from our machine to an Android application or an Android device that um, has an application running on it. Remember, dynamic analysis is analyzing an application while the application is running. You know, so uh, in in this case, we need to find a way to make sure the Frida on our local machine can be able to effectively communicate 
with uh, the application on the Android device so that we can be able to hook the functions, um, manipulate the functions, manipulate the variables of the functions and uh, effectively uh, able to know how the application runs and what functions is important for the application and what really happens uh, on the background of this application when it's uh, running. So let's see how we are going to effectively uh, do this, how we are going to make sure the Frida install on our machine and the, uh, uh, the, our, the application on our device is able to communicate and we can be able to issue commands and do all uh, the stuff that is concerned. So I want you to go to, the, uh, to your browser again, type Frida server type Frida server and then choose this Frida GitHub, Frida Frida uh, releases. Uh, just click on it. This is a repo for uh, Frida servers. This is where we have the, the servers that we are going to install on a, on, a, on a device so that we can be able to communicate between them and the Frida framework that we've installed in our local machine. So first thing first, before you can be able to install this server if you want this to work you have the the server and the freedom fashion has to match so how do you do this you have to check the the freedom uh, application that you've installed on your machine on your local machine and then you come and search here the freedom um, the same same freedom fashion so that you can be able to identify the appropriate server to install on uh, the device that you're targeting, whether it is under an Android. So in this case, for us, it's an Android phone. Just um, fire our terminal, um, and then just type Frida, Frida version to know which version we are installed in our machine. So in this case, we have Frida 5124. Uh, you can just copy or you can memorize it and search. Frida 15.1.2.4, search here, search for it, Frida 2.2, Frida 2.1, 15.2.1, 15 15.1.2.8, 15.1.2.6, perfect, 15.1.2.4 is here. Click on it and it's going to load because this page has lots of releases. Um, just go scroll down until you reach Frida server. Make sure you are at Frida server. Here it is. This is where the Frida server is. So for us, we are interested in Android. So it is Frida server 15.124 Android. Those are the four releases uh, that we, we, we need to install. But out of these four, how do you know which one you need to install in these four? Okay. For us to know which one we are going to install, we need to find out the CPU RM of our Android phone. I have not yet um, started a journey motion, so let's start journey motion and then uh, we use the ADB to know which of our which which RM uh, CPU RM uh, of our device uh, that is running. Okay, just start the phone. It's going to start in a few. Is it up? Yes, it's up. Jenny motion, as you know, uh, you also know uh, in our previous video, this is uh, an emulator. Uh, if you followed the previous video, you know how uh, this one is supposed to be set up. And it's supposed to be installed. If you, you've not, uh, just go and watch the video is our mobile phone, virtual mobile phone um, running. Let's go to our terminal again. Type this command, adb shell get prop ro.product.cpu.abi to be able to know what CPU RM we are running, okay? So you can see we, ha we are running on x86, okay? We are running on x86. Let's go back to the, the release repo of uh, Frida. Uh, so let's choose Android x86 xz. This is what we are supposed to download and install. 
The reason we are doing this is because if you don't install the same Frida server um, with the same version of the Frida and with this with with this with um, the correct ARM uh, CPU uh, uh, features or properties, you are going to have a problem. We are going to have a problem. It's not going to work effectively. Okay, so this one is is has been downloaded successfully. So let's head over to downloads page. Here it is. Just copy. Uh, I'm going to cut it to your um, favorite um, your favorite folder. Again, um, go to your terminal. The Frida file name is too big. Something to note, I have already installed this by the way. So in this case, initially I named my server as Frida server. So in this case, we are going to name it as Frida server one, okay? Let's rename this, let's name this file into frida-server-one.xz, okay? XZ, okay, it's been done. Um, then the next thing, we need to unzip it. So we are going to unzip it by unxz, then frida, okay? You're going to unzip it into a file so you can see it's no longer a zip file. It the next thing, uh, because we have already our Android phone running, we need to push or we need to make sure this server is installed on that application. How are we going to do that? We are going to push it using ADB. If you know, you've again, if you've watched the previous videos, you know what ADB is and what ADB is used to and how it can be uh, and how it can be set up and utilized uh, in this case. So we're going to type ADB push Frida and then we're going to put it in data local and then TMP. Okay. It's been sent successfully. The next thing to do is we need to make this free the server executable so that we can execute it uh, in Android uh, phone. So again, ADB shell and then uh, uh, ch mod plus x and then data local TMP and then um, Frida Frida server one okay that is it click enter done so let's now run Frida server okay let's now run this Frida server we have already uh, make it executable so the next thing is to run it we run it by typing adb shell uh, data local tmp um, frida server one and then we don't want uh, we, do, we want to run it uh, we don't want uh, debug mode or don't want to be told what is happening just run uh -huh. ah, okay we sorry sorry we made a mistake here we made a mistake if you noticed if any one of you noticed uh, bravo you are good so it's running it's now running this means Frida server is running. So how do we know it's running? Okay, how do we know it's running? Let's find. Uh, let's open a new tab here. Okay, let's open a new tab. Let's make it a little bigger. Just type here Frida, then dash ps dash capital U. We not, we need we want this command basically is used to identify the applications that is or the processes that are running on, on the Android phone that to the Frida server it is, is installed okay so press enter 
you can see Zygote is the first process that um, runs when you open an Android phone. Uh, this is the processes that are running on, on this phone, okay? But the question is, how do we know? How do you know really this is the applications that are running on, on this on this phone, okay? So let's go to the to the phone, to the Android phone, okay? Let's start this application, all save. All save is an intentional vulnerable app, so let's start it, okay? Let's go back to the terminal again, okay? Let's run this process. Uh, Frida dash ps dash capital U. Okay, let's go back and see whether we have that. Initially, we didn't have it. Okay, if you remember, let's go back and see whether we have that running uh, now. You can see it's here, it's running, which means we are uh, we have fully set up our environment and we are ready to go to do dynamic analysis of mobile applications so thanks for watching this is it for now uh, we are going to embark on dynamic fully on dynamic analysis of an android application practical the practical way because uh, i i just wanted to to do this the introduction of freedom and uh, i didn't want to mix the setup and and the practical part of of, of the dynamic analysis of an android app so in the next video, we are going to embark fully on dynamic analysis, the practical part, and we are going to see how we are going to bypass SSL pinning, how we are going to create scripts um, to bypass uh, uh, anti-routing mechanisms, and uh, 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 as well as how to hook those functions and uh, actually calling functions and manipulating functions and executing what the function might not be intended to do by the developers. If uh, you, 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 you are interested in learning Android um, hacking and Android uh, security analysis, please don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, uh, you can comment on the video below. Then uh, I'm going to look into it. Or if you are, there is any video you might or anything you might want us to talk about, then uh, we are going to take in it into Kosana. Thank you. Bye. See you.